In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to use link sharing in Google Drive. Basically, link sharing is where you copy this special link to a specific file in Google Drive, and then you can send that link to people in an email, a text message, social media message, or any other way you want. And then anyone who clicks on that link will be able to access the file. In a different video, which will be linked to in the description below, Timmy shows you how to share files in Google Drive the normal way, where you type in the other person's Google email address and it shares it with them. But in this video, Timmy's going to show you how to use link sharing, which is great if you don't know the person's Google email address, or if you want to share the file with a lot of different people. So when you're in Google Drive, all you need to do is find the file you want to share and single click on it to select it. So if you wanted to share this one, you just click once on it like that, so it's blue and highlighted, and then click on this link icon up here. Now, it will bring up this box with all the sharing options, and at the bottom of this box, you'll find the link sharing options. So if you click the copy link button here, the link will be copied, and you'll be able to go and paste it anywhere you like. But at the moment, this link will only work for people you've shared the file with in the past. So if you had already shared this file with Bob the regular way, you could send him this link, and he could just click on it and open the file just fine. But if you want to send this link to someone who you haven't already shared the file with, which is probably the case, you'll need to click on Restricted here, and change it to anyone with the link. And now, anyone who clicks on this link will be able to view and download the file. If you're sharing something like a Google Doc or Google Sheet, you might want to click on Viewer here and change it to Editor so that anyone who clicks on the link will be able to edit the file on Google Drive. But it's probably best to just leave it set to Viewer unless you really want them to be able to edit it. So. Timmy's going to set it back to viewer here and leave it like that. And that's all there is to it. Once you're happy with the settings you've chosen, you can click the copy link button here to copy the link and then just go and paste it anywhere you want. So if you wanted to paste it in an email, you could just come in here to whatever email app you use and right click where you want the link to go and click paste and now the link will be there. Or if you want an alternative method, you could click your cursor where you want the link to go and press Control and V on your keyboard and now the link will appear just like that. So it's Control V on a Windows computer or a Chromebook or Command V on an Apple computer. And now you'll have your link in your email here. And if you wanted to paste it anywhere else, like in some sort of messaging app or in a document or anything like that, it's just exactly the same. You either right click and paste or use the paste keyboard shortcut and your link will be pasted here. So now you can go ahead and send the link any way you want and then they will be able to access the file. So that's really cool, but if you want to see how to use link sharing in the Google Drive app on a phone or tablet, Timmy shows you how to do that in this video here. Or if you want to see how to use regular sharing in Google Drive, Timmy shows you how to do that in this video.